Hey guys, welcome back to a beautiful mess. This is uh, the home of Liz and her two kids. Liz is not her real name, but <laughs> Liz lives here with her two kids, eight and 11. And we are gonna be working on the kids room today. And this is it. But first we need to meet the animal hey, resident. Shadow. This is Shadow. He is a sweet kitty and you'll see him kind of in the background <laughs> at points in this. So let's take a closer look at this room and what we've got here. It's probably going to look a lot like a typical kid's room. Lots of stuffed animals. Saw Barbies there. Got bunk beds. Who grew up with bunk beds? I did. <laughs> Shared a room with my sister. Lots of books throughout this house. There are a lot of books, which is awesome. Okay, so I'm actually working with my mom today. She um, lived not too far from this house and I wanted to help with the house one day and so I said hey this would be a good one for you to come help with so here she is so we're gonna start by clearing off this bed and we're doing that so that we have a place to set some of the items that are on the floor so that we can clear the floor a little bit to create a space to set things out and organize them So my mom is 71 years old, almost 72 in January, and she used to clean homes for a living. She's done a lot of things over the years, but I won't go into all that. Anyway, she did clean homes at one point, um, and she's pretty spry for a se almost 72 year old. Look at her getting those tight spaces. And making bunk beds is not the most fun thing, especially that top bunk, um, which I'll do at the very end. Um, anyway, I was so glad she was able to come and help me today. And um, I was especially grateful because I was dealing with a urinary tract infection. So you can actually hold, see me holding my stomach right there. But um, I get those from time to time and um, it kind of started as I was going to this cleaning job. So I thought I'm already going, I'm just gonna suck it up and um, call my doctor, see if he can, in fact, that's what I'm doing on the phone right there, <laughs> is trying to get in touch with my doctor to see if he can send in some antibiotics um, so I could just go pick those up and get those working. But um, anyway, in the meantime, I just took something that kind of helps with the side effects and I did okay, but near the end of this day, I, I was not feeling well. So anyway, super grateful my mom could come help me because otherwise I don't think I would have made it very far. Like, let me show it to the camera. Just very impressive. Isn't that cool? There were so many drawings around here that were just really neat. But um, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Haha. -ha. <laughs> no, really, um, that that elephant was actually just sitting in mom's room, um, put there by her son. Uh, there's a sweet story behind it that I won't go into right now because I really did want to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> um, and by that, I mean, there are obviously, if you haven't figured it out, um, a boy and a girl that share this room. And that is because this is a two bedroom apartment. So of course, mom has one room and the, the kids have to share a room. So 
I it, I wanted to talk about this because I know there's probably a lot of opinions surrounding that, but I kept thinking as I'm planning this, like, what do you do? What else do you do when, when it's a two bedroom apartment that may be all they can afford? Um, what do you do as they get older? Do you just create dividers or like, I, I don't know what, what would you guys suggest? And does anybody out there have to deal with this? I would just like to know. I'm just curious. Stairs, but honestly, and this is so cute, but it takes up so much room. I'm gonna put it up on the bed or above the dollhouse. Or... Yeah. What do you do when you have all of the storage items necessary, but not enough space? You're so pretty. Yeah. I left a lot of our dialogue in here for reasons like that. Like what, what do you do with Legos um, that have been already built out? Um, I've dealt a lot with this in our own home because my son used to really love to build Lego um, structures. And we did have a place set aside in our toy closet to kind of display them. But, um, but we had plenty of room, but you know, when there's limited room and that was the second thing I talked about was what do you do when there's limited space? Um, but they had so many storage items, like everything we needed, but just not enough space. Do you guys have any ideas on how to create more space? I mean, obviously you can go up some, um, but you know, you can't really stack forever and ever unless you get some really sturdy shelves. So uh, besides that, does anybody have any other ideas on how they create space? How cute! It's like, uh, they're so creative! Uh, it's like, yeah, it's like a little marble. And this is a kit. I could not believe how many creative things we found around here. These kids were like uber creative. I loved it. Um, and then you also hear me talk about teeny tiny things. And that is a theme of this room. <laughs> Holy moly. There were so many teeny tiny things. I, yeah, I was amazed how many kids, how many are into fantasy in my bookstore. Yeah. Do you have fantasy books? And I thought, mm, not really. If I do, I told them on Amazon or eBay. Yeah. Because they are so popular. That's one that I couldn't really get that into, but I did a little bit for the sake of my kids because I wanted to listen to some of the books that they were listening or that they were reading. Some yeah. of them I liked. Others, I was like, yeah, this is just not going to happen. Sorry, Tristan. <laughs> Especially because it was like one that had like 23 books to the series. I'm like, yeah, I'm not even going to start that if I don't like the first one. And I, I got about halfway through the first one. I was like, mm, no. I think the thing Anybody else try to read the same books our kids are reading just to connect with them a little more? Yeah, I tried that and <laughs> I liked the Scythe series. That was one that I really enjoyed, but there were others that were a little too fantasy for me that I just could not get into. <laughs> That's what I say all the time. I'll put it there for now. And because like, seriously, what do you do with it? Like, I, I don't know until think, like until you get more into it and kind of know what is here so that you can start putting it together. Is this so. a closet? Isn't that the truth? You kind of have to get everything out, kind of assess what's there, and then um, figure out where to put it all after you've gotten everything out and figured out exactly what you have. And sometimes you make a bigger mess <laughs> than you started with just to put it all together in the end. So there are so many times that I've left a house and been like, I'm so sorry, it looks like a bigger mess, but I will be back and we'll put it all together. And in fact, that's what I talk about here. So I guess we can start kind of, well, I haven't even been through all this. So maybe with this already out, kind of push them into the corner, start spreading this out. Like we're going to make a huge mess before we right. <laughs> can really get it cleaned up. Just so we're clean it Good there. job! Yay! <laughs> You've got to celebrate little victories along the way. And just a warning, I do tend to get a little weird around my family. So... <laughs> 
and I'll explain more about that later in this video. of those like up there so once we get see this is where it's like okay we're doing some sorting here and then after we're done it's like okay now there's a space for this yeah yes exactly baggies are friends <laughs> indeed they are <laughs> i told you we were a little weird <laughs> but and things get a little weirder in a couple of minutes. Um, anyway, I, in the last, or in the first live I did <laughs> this last week, which um, accidentally went out to my entire audience and not just my members, which was um, a little terrified and I was a little taken off guard and therefore um, kind of uh, froze. <laughs> there were a couple times I just lost my train of thought and just sat there so it was way awkward but thank you to those who attended and are so supportive anyway even though I am a little awkward <laughs> um, anyway this house um, I just wanted to mention this is one that I mentioned in my live that um, when I said I am doing a lot more organizing in the last couple of houses this house was really actually pretty clean and um, it was just a lot of little teeny tiny things that uh, we were putting away. Oh yes, who had one of these when they were little? <laughs> I could not get it to work right. I think it was a little bent and so it wouldn't go over the little hump. Anyway, it was still fun to play with. <laughs> And sticky hands. Did you curse sticky hands when you were little? St like the little sticky. Oh man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or the sticky people that would go <laughs> and leave down the marks walls. All the wall. Yeah. Yep. And gather up hair and crap. Oh yeah. And, yeah. They're fun. Glare. Well, this looks like it's empty. Oh no, but more little things. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Curse you, many people. <laughs> Would you like some walnuts that I did the other day? Oh, I thought you just found them on the floor. And I no, was like, I, I had them in my pocket. <laughs> it's like, that is really gross. No. <laughs> oh. Okay, so you've witnessed a little bit of my oddness, <laughs> and especially when I'm around my family. So here's the thing. Our family has always been a little different. <laughs> And I've known this for a while and about, um, oh, five or six years ago is when I kind of diagnosed my dad with Asperger's and dad, if you're watching this, this might be the first time you're hearing this. I have told mom to tell you, but she has not yet, unless she has by this point, but Anyway, I, he's a very intelligent guy, but he has, yeah, some odd quirky things about him. And I have noticed some odd quirky things about, um, like my siblings and myself. And anyway, so for several years, I've, I've thought that about my dad and, um, and I've, you know, always felt a little different myself. And I've even mentioned this in some past videos and you know and about my awkwardness and in like social situations and whatever so um anyway i my, my daughter came home a couple of months ago and said that her psychiatrist had diagnosed her with adhd and possible autism and i thought a lot about this because i had no idea at that time that it was genetic that autism was genetic and so um I thought I really need to get this checked out because there are a lot of things that line up with autism that I do and I wanted to know for sure to rule it in or rule it out so I went and got some testing. I started this actually the day before my collaboration or I, the day before I 
flew out for the collaboration and um, I had some extensive testing done that was specific to adults. I found a great place that that did the testing and anyway it, it's been over the last month basically I've been doing this and um, I finally got my results this last week and it did come back as I am um, autistic level one uh, so basically what would have formerly been known as Asperger's and so this is kind of the same shade as Mac would say shade of autism that he has um, although he He's a, a lot more intelligent and his processing speed is a lot better than mine. So if you haven't noticed, I'm a little bit slow when I speak. Um, and that uh, makes a lot more sense now that I've gotten some of this testing back and can see on like the IQ testing part of it. So, um, I mean, I, I came back with a higher IQ in the 120s, but um, the things that brought it down were my verbal comprehension and my processing speed. Um, were the two lowest for me. Um, I mean, they were still in average range, but I do take a lot more time to process things and to um, formulate thoughts. And anyway, it's it's all kind of coming together. And I'm so glad I've gotten this diagnosis because it really gives me um, a chance to give myself a little more grace for the things that I kind of beat myself up about. So anyway, it feels weird even talking about this because I wasn't even sure if I would tell my audience <laughs> about my diagnosis. But after watching this video and editing this video, there's a lot of my odd habits that come out in it that um, normally I can mask pretty well. But when I get in front of my family, that mask kind of comes off and um, I'm a little bit more myself. So you're going to witness that here in just a couple of minutes. But um, anyway, I just wanted to let you know of that diagnosis so that hopefully you guys can also understand some of the the weird quirky things that I do and I'm sure I'll talk a little bit more about this in future videos but anyway for now observe how I turn from a 45 year old to about a four to five year old I tend to get pretty immature when I am not masking so here you go <laughs> It's like she doesn't even care that I gave her a Mother's Day card. Rude. Learn how to crochet. You learn how to crochet! <laughs> I just got in a really weird mood. <laughs> oh, see, this is why I can't work with you. It, just, it brings out the weirdness in me if I'm around my family. <laughs> okay, there's the... I could definitely never work with Laura. <laughs> You've been giggling and so weird. throwing things at each other. Probably. Art therapy. That's nice. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg, Mr. Hooper let a pooper, or something like that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> what? what were you throwing? Was it just this? Yeah. No, it was just the little popper thing. I don't know. I just get in these moods that I'm like, ah! Just think I'm nuts. No, so, that's what makes it fun. Uh, but, Where are you putting all these poppers? Um, I'm not. I'm <laughs> just like you can throw it in with like games. It's a game, right? Two points. Yay. Oh, look, little things. I had a whole bunch of those bobbles in. Uh, uh, it's know. like the My Little Ponies. More. Yeah, I think there's more up there. And right here. And they're everywhere, so. Why a daughter needs a mom. Aw, did you get that from me? <laughs> Why a daughter needs a mom. A daughter needs a mom to provide her with memories that will last forever. 
First page and the last page. Oh, because that's what you did, you cheater. Where's the last page? A daughter needs a mom because without her, she will have less in her life than she deserves. Aww. Thank you. Just for me. See, I got you a Mother's Day gift. You got me something for Daughter's Day or something. I don't know. These are all like advantages. Yeah. Not going on my camera. That's gonna cost you. <laughs> Don't you go dying on me now. Yeah, I probably need that bottle of water now. told you that was going to be a little weird so hopefully you guys haven't unsubscribed by now because <laughs> I apologize for my weirdness um but maybe there are some of you out there like this that want to unmask with me uh I don't know how much of this me you'll see in future videos because unless I'm with my family I usually tend to stay fairly normal <laughs> So um, anyway, I just want to thank you guys for loving me as I am, even if I am a little weird. <laughs> and if you haven't unsubscribed and would like to subscribe, now is the time to do it. You should go hit subscribe and like um, and leave a comment, even though a lot of the comments, I'm so sorry, I can't respond to in the way that I want, but... I do read every single one, and if I just heart it, if that's all I have time for, please understand. But those comments do help with the algorithm. So, um, and for some reason, this last couple weeks, my um, videos have not been getting out to as many people, and I don't know why that is. So, I could use those comments to help the algorithm. Thanks, guys. You'll hear me talking to the homeowner here in just a minute, and um, her kids are there with her. So there's portions of this that I'll cut out here in just a minute, but you do see just part of the homeowner while I'm talking to her. Are we okay in your room? We're just... Well, I warned the kids that yeah. it would happen. Yes. Okay. And yeah, we can show them kind of where, where, where stuff. we put things. We kind of try to, you know, keep it somewhat in the area that it was, just mm -hmm. so they're not like... Well, we, we figured this side of the room was his stuff and this side was her stuff. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it had like a name or something that we yeah, sorted out. But yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know that Once, like your biggest challenge was like getting, like creating more space. <laughs> so we're just trying to condense things, combine things and... Um, and then I'm sure there's still stuff. Oh gosh, I had to go. Lots of books sure. in here that I'd forgotten about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's going to be stuff like that that I'm sure it's like, oh, okay, we probably don't need all this. Yeah. And then clothes that they probably have grown. And yes. um, yeah, so I put a few things in your room either just to like get them out of the way for a second mm -hmm. or for you to go through because there's, I mean, a bag of clothes that I think it's all grown out of. Like it was a, a lot of the stuff that was right here. Yeah. <laughs> So, like I said, it was not super dirty here, so I had to film what I could, but it wasn't much. Sorry, guys, that you don't get that, like, really filthy, from filthy to clean type of um, transformation in this one. But hopefully those that like the organization piece will get some satisfaction from this video because... There's a lot of that, a lot of vertical organizing, 
Um, in fact, that is the place that I scored the highest on my IQ test was perceptual reasoning, which is kind of like puzzle solving. And so it that makes sense to me because I walk into a room and I'm like, ooh, I want to put this here, put this here. I just, I kind of want to solve this puzzle. So, and I'm sure Matt can relate to that. It is, it is pretty interesting to recognize that um, I have autism as well, and I really enjoy the cleaning. And there's um, someone else I've been in touch with who is starting to do a little bit of free cleaning. And I had mentioned that I'm doing some autism testing and she responded saying like, I think there's got to be a little bit of neurodivergence in anybody who really enjoys doing this kind of thing because it's just not normal to love to do this, I think, um, or at least it's not um, typical. So anyway, I found that pretty interesting. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I have not been present in the room here for a little bit. Um, my mom's been kind of cleaning this up and vacuuming. That's because I am downstairs with the homeowner going through paperwork and kind of showing her how I deal with paperwork, what I throw away, what I keep, kind of how I organize it, things like that. So, um, yeah, I'm helping her with that downstairs while my mom gets this kind of... Um, to the point of vacuuming. By the way, isn't this rug so cute? And the quilts on her bed. I just, I love this room. It's really cute and colorful and yeah, I, I, I love it. And I love all of the storage that they have, like the Ikea stuff. I have never bought anything from Ikea um, because it is a little bit more modern which I can appreciate a modern house. My house is not that modern, it's more classic. So I don't really feel like Ikea goes that well in my house, but I love their storage. And the reason I'm showing you the closet here is just to show what I'll be working on while my mom is working on organizing some of this stuff. So yes, we got the bedroom clear to vacuum. Um, but there was still a lot of stuff to deal with that we had, you know, put up on the beds and um, out into the hallway to sort once we got everything kind of cleared. So here's where we put it all back together. Oh, look, little things. <laughs> Seriously, there were so many little things. And my kids have had little things before, um, but not to this extent. There were, I'm guessing, about 50 different sets of little things. So we tried to sort them out as best we could, and a lot of it we just ended up throwing together to let them sort out because heaven knows <laughs> where they went or which um, set they went to. I forgot to mention that um, a lot of the reason that we were helping this mom out was um, because she she has ADHD, 
not a surprise. That's a lot of what I'm helping with is people with ADHD. But um, she had, so she was divorced about four years ago and her husband recently moved to Australia. And before he left, he came and just dumped a bunch of stuff on her front porch and uh, from the kids, from their house or the his house that you know he he had while they were divorced and um so she was really overwhelmed with what do I do with this and how do I sort it out so she's pretty organized for having ADHD and she's very resourceful with the things that she uses um in fact we did not start with the kids bedroom we actually started in the kitchen and the the front room downstairs and i was very impressed with the things that she um came up with for storage and um she's very good at it but you know when it's all dumped on you at once and just boxes and boxes of stuff and paper especially it was just a little overwhelming so that's why I wanted to come and help, even though it wasn't the dirtiest house. It was, you know, just a lot of clutter. And this mom, I mean, she's a terrific mom. Um, the amount of creativity that was going on in this house and how she supports that creativity and um, gets them these kits that they work on. It was, it was incredible. So anyway, I was so happy to help her um but again it's just you know it was a lot of tedious organizing and which is fine i it just took a lot longer than i had originally thought it would but it was it was fine it was kind of fun to get this all kind of organized for them um, as much as we could and then of course you know the the kids also need to do some of their part, but a lot of the stuff that had been sitting in the room was stuff that, um, you know, dad had just brought over and um, it had just been sitting in their room. So not all of it was theirs. So that's why we were there sorting it out. Sorry, that was a little wordy. <laughs> Wipe it off after this. I just wanted to get most of the loose stuff. We actually ended up getting rid of that dollhouse, um, but still I wanted to vacuum it so it was a little nicer looking and I wiped it down, um, you know, before we gave it to the thrift store. So it went to a good home, I'm sure. Yep, 
Aw, there's my cute little feet print on the bottom of my shoes. I actually just bought two more pair of ultras because I love the, well, I, I love the comfort of them, but I also just love seeing the bottoms of my shoes when I clean on my knees. I think it's adorable. I keep forgetting to add my links to Amazon and um, encouraging people to use those links as I get just a small commission from anything you buy after you click that link. So um, anyway, if you want some ultras with some super cute feet print, um, not all of them have this same footprint, but the bottoms of all of them are pretty cute. Um, but uh, as Christmas time is coming, if you want to use any of those links to do some of your shopping, even if you're not buying just the cleaning supplies that I link, anything after you click that link is counted towards the purchase that I make a commission off of. So that is just a super simple way that you can support my channel. Um, and it, and it just gives a little extra income and I'm trying to use that to help the homeowners purchase things that they need and whatever in addition to the super thanks any PayPal donations and membership fees so um, if you want to do that it's just a suggestion thanks guys It was about at this point I was starting to feel pretty sick. So I was like, we just need to be done. Let's throw everything back together and and get out of here because um, I was getting pretty nauseous. <laughs> but anyway, here we are finally at the end. Here are the before and afters. And there we have it. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, please subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button. And um, some of you have mentioned that you have not been getting notifications uh, of when I put out new videos. But um, if you hit that bell, you should get notifications. So if not, I don't know why. But um, and anyway, super thanks. If you wanna give anything that goes to support the the things that I purchased for the homeowners, that'd be awesome, but no pressure. So thank you guys again. Have a great week. 
We'll see you next time.